As product director at a spa resort hotel in Beijing, Yu Weisun is one of the top chefs in China. He has even been invited to prepare state banquets. Inventing new delicacies for his restaurant is one of Yu's key tasks. He travels to various places each month to taste local delicacies and look for new ingredients. Sushen is a city at the crossroads of southern and northern China. Its distinctive climate gives the people a straightforward yet mild temperament. A hero from long ago, both chivalrous and gentle, was said to be born here. Chen Yu was the king of the Western Chu dynasty. He fought Liu Ban for control of the land. The records show that Chen Yu was a native of Xiaosheng, an ancient name for Sushen. Sushen's folk artists still commemorate their ancient hero. The tragic love story of Shen Yu and Lady Yu ends in separation, sorrow, and death. This story has been told for centuries. In the past, visitors to Sushen paid their respects to Shen Yu, including Qing Dynasty Emperor Qian Lung. The emperor traveled to Sushen several times. It is said he was attracted by the local delicacies and fine wine. I haven't been to Sushen, but I Next, you will learn more about the chivalrous nature of Shen Yu and discover the street delicacies that gave Emperor Chen Lung ceaseless pleasure. After tasting the north-south fusion of Su Xian's delicacies, Yu Weisen will face a great challenge in coming up with something unique to prepare for them. Yu's culinary guide is Yang Hui, He's not a chef, but is passionate about cooking. He chooses Shang Yu's former home to welcome his guest. For Yang Hui and many people in Sushen, Shang Yu is a hero and an idol. Yu Weisen feels the warmth and generosity of Su Xian. Yang Hui invites him to his house for a meal. Yang works for a distillery in Yanghe. Although he's never studied cooking, he has a passion for food. Yang learned to cook when he was 14. Today, he prepares a special delicacy, influenced by the story, Farewell My Concubine. The main ingredients are a local wild soft-shelled turtle, combined with chicken. The chicken is slowly stewed over a fire, and the broth is used to stew the turtle. Finally, the two are combined.
Not only does Yang demonstrate his own skill, he invites his sister to make wheel pie, Yang He's most famous snack. Wheel pie is attributed to Emperor Chen Lang. On a visit to the Yangtze River, he asked a small tavern in Yanghe to make a snack shaped like the wheels of his carriage. The ingredients are pig's fat with refined sugar, walnut, shelled melon seed, and other items cut into red or green strips. Crystal sugar is then added to the filling to make a delightful snack. The trick to making it well is the dough. Two different sheets of dough are used. One is made using water, oil, and flour. The other is made with pure oil and flour. The pie will still be stiff, but flaky after it's fried in hot oil. As the pies are cooking, farewell, my concubine comes out of the wok. When Yu Wei Sun first arrived in Sushan, not only did he taste the distinctive farewell my concubine, but also tried the snacks inspired by Emperor Shen Lang. Yu Wei Sun may already be feeling a little overwhelmed. Further surprises are ahead on this gourmet tour of Sushan. Sushan is not a big city, but it is very livable. The ancient Grand Canal threads its way through the city. Land and water transportation is convenient. When Emperor Chen Lung left the capital by boat, he sailed past dusty plains. When he reached Sushen, the emperor saw a lake and the beautiful scenery surrounding it. He was inspired to write a poem in praise of Sushen, calling it the first place to visit in spring. The different kinds of delicacies in Sushen persuaded the emperor to linger. This was once a former quay on the Grand Canal. The Emperor's luxurious barge for traveling on the Yangtze River could once be found docked here. Yu Wei Sen's gourmet tour starts from here. the first step is to boil lamb or chicken bones overnight. Next, a sauce is added to the broth. Then, an egg is stirred in a bowl. Finally, a little boiling soup is poured over the egg, and a bowl of the emperor's soup is ready.
Each morning, people from the whole town come to Zhao's restaurant for this particular soup. Zhao has cooked this kind of soup for 30 years. Passed down from generation to generation, Zhao is the fifth generation of his family to make the soup. Oh, <笑> Sushan has two lakes and is crossed by the Grand Canal and two rivers. It's located at the junction of north and south, and migratory birds arrive each autumn to spend the winter here. The people of Sushan tend to eat a lot of fish throughout the year. Xinxiang is the city's most ancient street. It is 430 years old. It was created in 1577 during the Ming Dynasty. Wei Sun will visit an old man living along Xinxiang Street who specializes in making a homemade lake food delicacy. Li Yaohua has lived here for more than 60 years. He's adept at making home-cooked meals, especially the local dishes of Sushian. On weekends, Li's two daughters and their husbands will come to enjoy a meal. Li will cook each time. Aside from the crabs that come from Luoma Lake, whitebait is one of the most common fish available in Sushian. Its body is white, without scales, and it tastes delicious. Whitebait is rich in calcium and is called the ginseng of fish. The people in Sushian usually like to cook it in a soup to preserve the fresh taste of the whitebait as much as possible. You need to put the clean white bait into the soup to boil. Add salt, ground pepper, and sesame oil to season it. After this, the delicious white bait soup will be ready. In the small courtyard, four generations of the Lee family enjoy their time together. Lee believes that cooking for his family every weekend is his greatest joy.
market, visitors can also find food from other regions of China. There are many snacks available here, almost too many to choose from. Yuei-san will taste another delicacy that Emperor Chen Lung once endorsed. Mr. Huang's pig head was made by folk chef Huang Da. The dish got its name from Huang's surname. It now has a history spanning 200 years, and Mr. Huang's pig head is aromatic with a red fruit flavor. The fat is flaky and overcooked, and the lean meat tastes fresh and pure. Huang Jin De is the eighth generation of his family to cook it. When making this dish, he still follows the secret family recipe. The hogs are grain fed for eight to ten months. When a pig is slaughtered, the cut needs to be made one centimeter behind the ear. This creates a pig's head of just the right size, which is neither too fat nor too thin. The pork is deboned and washed before adding aniseed, fennel, cloves, and other seasoning. Then the broth is boiled on a slow fire for a lengthy period. The recipe uses high-quality ingredients in a way that is like alchemy. In the end, a perfect balance between sweet and salty is achieved. Well maintained. There are no polluting industries along their shores, so the water is clear all year round. Reeds and other aquatic life dot the shoreline. It offers a fine ecosystem and water resource for the fisheries industry. People in Sushen are simple, honest, and live in harmony with nature. This richly endowed place, with its lakes and river water, inspires Yu Wei-san. He will use the fresh ingredients from the lake to cook an original dish for his hosts in Sushen. Whitebait, freshwater shrimp and crabs are the best known lake products. October is precisely the season to eat crab, and Yu Wei-san has this in mind as he makes his plans. Let's 
His kitchen is right on Zhao's boat. Two fish are caught and a bucket full of fresh lake water is scooped up to boil them. The fish will retain a natural taste. This can be considered the highest level of culinary achievement. The shells of the fertile crabs are removed, leaving only the crab meat and roe. At the same time, the fresh white bait is prepared. Both basic ingredients are plentiful here. Friends arrive and they are all wondering what surprise the chef from Beijing has for them. Snowy white baits are scattered into the thick broth and mixed with the crab roe and crab meat. A whole new delicacy is about to make its debut. <笑>那个勺子放一点菜<笑> 昨天跟那个赵赵赵赵师傅捞那个银鱼这是来的素签也寻访了民间传统美食有很多拔高的空间